On December 13th, 2022, a bomb was dropped. A passing bomb. One in which dropped the news that Carlos Correa had agreed to a contract with the San Francisco Giants. Bam. $350 million over the course of 13 seasons. That is a hell of a lot of money, sets up the rest of Correa's career, and adds a very impactful player to the San Francisco Giants lineup and infield. Typically when contracts are agreed upon, they're not official. There's paperwork that needs to be done along with physicals that need to be done. The paperwork is obviously all the boring legal stuff, while the physical is to check and make sure said player is fully healthy and as of right now will be as such to start his career with his new team. If something is caught during the physical, like some sort of injury or something, the team can call the deal off. The vast majority of the time contracts are signed, that never happens. You rarely ever hear about the physicals because they happen quickly and the players are typically healthy, put pen to paper, and officially become a new member of whatever team he just signed with. Following the Correa news, nothing was said. Nothing by Correa, nothing by the Giants organization, just the fact that the two had agreed to a 13-year contract, first reported by Jeff Passan, which was true. That was not false. Correa was a Giant, but it wasn't going to be official, not until December 20th, when the Giants were holding Carlos Correa's introductory press conference. The press conference was going to start and be open to the media at 11 a.m. Pacific Time at Oracle Park in San Francisco, so 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Yet about three hours beforehand, it was called off, and the Giants did not provide an explanation or reason as to why. Okay, that's weird. Some time went by, and nobody knew what was going on. Well, we now have some ideas with what's going on. Before I get any further, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Over 75% of my watch time has been from people who aren't subscribed, so hit that button along with the bell for post notifications. Okay, back to the video. According to the Associated Press, one person said that Tuesday's conference to welcome Correa was put on hold because the two sides were awaiting the results of testing. A second person told the Associated Press that a medical issue was flagged during Correa's physical. Carlos Correa, as good of a player as he is, has always been pretty injury prone, getting put on the injured list seven times during his eight-year career so far and has only played over 150 games once in those eight years because of injuries. I mean, this is a guy who literally got hurt during a massage once, so if there's one thing to be worried about with having Correa long-term on your roster, it's durability. At least that's the concern he showed that you need to be aware of over the last eight years. So what now? Well, for now, pump the brakes on Carlos Correa being a San Francisco Giant. The deal has now been postponed, and there's a chance that it falls through. I personally do not think that'll happen, and feel that Correa will end up a Giant when it's all said and done. But there's a few different scenarios at play here. Either Correa and the Giants keep the 13-year, $350 million agreement, Correa and the Giants restructure the deal and make it a little different, or it falls through altogether and Correa ends up not being a Giant. Whatever ends up happening, I'm curious to know what the exact issue is with Correa, and what is holding up this deal from becoming official. Let me know what you think, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.